Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mammalia. Stretching over the distance there, you can see various little tags and warnings telling us that uh, people aren't too happy about various things. But not enough customers, yes, well, I imagine I'll sort that out. I mean, apparently there's not the commercial demand's a bit iffy, but we've got a few buildings have burnt down recently, so I was just looking at kind of, you know, fire coverage and the rest of it. It turns out that various bits of the city don't have very much fire coverage for various reasons. Now, I don't quite know why this bit in here doesn't have any fire coverage. I've put a fire station there. There's one there, there's one there, and one there. But apparently the inner bits of it, still in some way, shape, or form, don't appear to have very good fire coverage. So, not that sure of that. Why? But one of the things we can do is immediately solve the problem of the fire coverage down here by putting in a fire station. So, fire safety low, high, now that'll just sort itself out over time. Fire station right there. Now is that because it's on the bit of the station that's the one way? So it just takes them just that little bit longer to respond? If I move you, so there, you can't get around that far. There, you have exactly the same coverage, but you completely cover the south side of the horror at the same time. Alright, which means I can now just paint in a little bit more there. Where else are we lacking fire coverage? Well, because I put all the fire stations right in next to the hub. Okay. So there's one firehouse. Come out to here. Where was the other one? Okay. There's a firehouse. Right to here. Let's build a new one there and move you to there. Right. That should solve that problem. The other problem we picked up at the end of last week's episode was some of the traffic problems we're having all along this road. Now, partly that's because we just have these occasional little spike roads I've put in. Now, I don't think there's actually much... The reason they're in there is because I wanted to be able to, people to be able to turn around. Um, because this is quite a long stretch of road without the ability to turn around on. Now, I think perhaps that some of them might just be a bit too often. Um, there's not much traffic down this end, because all the traffic's backing up down this end. So this traffic lies all the way down to here. Now, I don't think there is any real value in that. I don't think it's adding any real real estate, because if people want to turn around, they've got other options up here. And we will just let that be gone and see how we go. The other thing I'm thinking of possibly doing is switching this to a six lane with bus lanes all the way along it just to get the buses out and give us a bit more space and time. What old burning building you were heading to? Returning to station. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Any parks or wrecks in here? What level are you guys? Ooh, you're nearly over the edge. Football fields? That's huge. I stick you on the inner side. Doink. Nice. Let's uh, put a path in alongside that. Paths have moved. Paths are now over here. So that people can walk back and forth. I wonder now if these guys are very close to upgrading. Slight problem with noise. Crime rate is high. 
Hmm. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. But the Avery policies, courage bias, big, 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 big uh, tax relief for high density. Schools out, harsh prisons, or something so this. Let's see if that tips these guys over the edge, and then we can get just a little bit more on this. So, wonder how our little area down over here. You apparently don't have any water, despite the fact you're near my pumping station. Fine. One quick click with that. Done. Do you now have power connection? You do. You should be all much happier now. Parks there. That's that sorted. Right. Okay. Where are we heading next? Well, now we've got our cargo terminal in. We can just watch this unload. That should magically... Well, I was hoping that was going to magically produce a train. Apparently just magically unmagicked the um, boat. They're piling up on top of each other. We've got another boat coming in. Is this going to produce enough cargo? No, oh, it's spitting people out onto that and then going somewhere else. So it's producing cars, at least. Hmm. <laughs> traffic, 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 more traffic. Enormous great big piles of traffic. And not very much I can do about it. We might need to be looking at investing in a metro in the not too distant future, ladies and gentlemen, but in the interim, that's a lot of empty land. I want to put something in that huge red big space. Well, let's use up as much of this as we possibly can. So, do we have the ability to... How far away are we? 52 or 53? So, not very far away from getting another port. Ooh, an airport. Interesting. Interesting indeed. But, let's go to the area zone. And yes, we can indeed buy off that square. Not necessarily sure we would want to. It's not got a lot of land in it. We'll worry about that one later. In the interim, we can definitely... Oh, it's got dark. Arse. I don't want it to be dark when I'm trying to build. Fine. I am going to... have a little bit of a nudge and move. So yeah, we want to put a nice big new area and zone in up over here. Then she could just fill in some of these extra little bits over here and all the other bits and pieces, but see, this is beginning to fill in quite a bit. We don't have any residential demand because this is all residential, but we are going to get some commercial demand. So, let's do it in stages. We will call this an area and this an area. In the short term, we are going to look at putting in a new commercial area in here. Now, just first, before we can get too far with that, we need to deal with the fact that it will have a nuclear power plant in the middle of it. Now, the nuclear power plant itself doesn't produce a great deal of pollution. Let's just go and double check on that. No. No, no, uh, no actual pollution, but some noise pollution. These gentlemen, however, are incineration plants, do produce some amount of pollution. So we need to find somewhere to put these so that they will, we will get what we want, which is what a nice commercial area in here, but that necessarily too much of a problem. So, pausing, we've got a huge chunk of money. Just delete this little lot over here. Grab our preferred short rush. You can see so much pollution here, the trees have gone and died. So, let's just get some grass. Well, let's just not even bother with it. Let's just accept the fact it's going to be polluting and just put in a road. Like that. And then we will be moving the buildings we have got parked. No, over here. Yes, it's going to be expensive to move. Out over here. Get them done, and then we can. Delete that. It's set to work in building our oh, new district. Now, we will probably want to have a nice big central road that comes off from here. So, what we'll do is we'll space this off a little bit and have it come up parallel like that. 
So what we're looking for is a nice, expensive, broad, pleasant commercial district. So there's our main road going up the centre. We will have that quickly spoke out, running parallel to our railway line. Oh, well, actually, here's a question. Do we want to actually run a motorway off here and then have that curve round and meet up over here later on when we want to get more access? Because we're talking about putting quite a large residential area in here. Probably carry on with low density is the theme on the outer edge. Inside edge will be high density. I think perhaps that we, that road is not going, will do to begin with, but I think quite quickly in the longer term it won't suffice to meet our power requirements. Sorry, our transport requirements. So I think we will be building a new motorway heading off from here. So left hand side is up. Give me a nice straight road. Give us a bit of space to make sure it slips in. So we do know it's going up off into here. So we'll have that. Oh, I guess that's what we can do. We can have a motorway that comes out to here. Comes up. Oh, I've got it on the lowest nudge again. Comes across the railway, out to the ground floor. And then when we do get around to buying other bits and pieces, what we're going to do is probably go, we're going to put a roundabout essentially in the middle of this district and then spoke everything off. So you've got that way coming that way. Now we'll put the other road going alongside. Jump across the motor, jump across the railway, come down. Nope, that's underground. Does it want to somebody to said for doing that? Out to here, don't care too much about it, it's not that parallel. And then we will go from here, down, from here, up. Nice. And put a thing on the end so people end up having to need to go around. They can indeed so. And we will then go to our junctions. Grab our motorway offset again. I wonder if we can find a place where we can get it so the pillars. You know, aren't causing problems. I could go underground. I don't quite know why it doesn't quite mean that it's going just there. Come on. Can I go... I can't go above ground there, but I can go underground there. And save space. Certainly would. Right, from about there. Um, give me a straight road. Oh, no, no, I lost it. I've lost my motor, my underground. So let's do full spoke. Just a ground level. Come out to there. Grab you. To there. Kind of certainly different having uh, the roads that you just vanish. You know what I forgot to do in all of this? What I forgot to do is connect it up to the motorway first. Should probably do that first. So, there's my underground roundabout. Well, I've actually now decided what this district is going to be called. And I'm going to paint that in now while I remember. 
district, district, district. District, 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 district. I'll run it up to the Vultures Edge actually. Trim it off because that's our boundary over here. This is not Dale Hills. This is the Mole Circle. And we will be having both small and big business benefactors, because I think I'm probably going to put a mix of low and high density in here. Uh, we were in the process of connecting up our motorway. Now, the other thing we need to make sure is that this thing is going in the right direction. That's the best guess I've got, since we can't actually see it. Ooh, that's not the district tool I wanted. best we can do is try and poke our head down into here. But we'll have to wait and see. If it turns out that the roundabout doesn't work, well, we'll call that a learnt lesson. Get that and carry on what we were doing, which was bugging these into here. All right, so there's our primary spoke roads. Now let's start putting extra shapes onto here. Like that. I like that, just that, that uh, slight cutback shape. Well, it works quite well for me. It looks like a spade of some sort. So. Hmm. Let me have you come out at, yeah, where do I have you come out at? Quite a sharp angle, actually. Go back and cut. Come out so far and come back. Alright, so those ones are on that side. In the interim, we want to have something going all the way along the edge here, so let's put a Delete some of this a little bit. Coastal road in. I want up. Over. Back down to ground level. And then I want you to come straight that way. Straight that way, so we've got links to both connections. Now we will carry on what we were doing previously, which was coming off at an angle, overshooting slightly, going back round. Why have I got trucks over here? Oh, right, because there were the trucks were over here. Fine, yep. And then we're going to carry on going this way, grab the other, cut out at an angle. Go slightly too far, cut back so we get our nice feather like shapes. Done. Liking this, I think it's going to be slightly, it's going to be a more interesting layout. Right, good, shiny. We've got plenty of space in here for doing other things that we wanted to do. So, yeah, I'm kind of tempted to see if I can put a road in. Am I going to road in that gap? Or you're not going to let me. Or, who would hiss? There's clearly space for me to stick something in this gap, so I'll probably see if I can get some kind of park or just fill it with trees, possibly. So, that's. The mole circle with its four feathers of soul. Oh, 
And there's a notification telling me that we are out of time, ladies and gentlemen. We've been digging holes in the ground on this episode, so we got that little, this little lot connected up. We sorted out a few other bits of traffic, but yes, now we've got this little one. We've got this connected up. We need to make sure that we're not going to cause ourselves too many problems, so we do need to connect that up over there. Really? I'm a real fan of like the safety of nuclear power, so I'm not particularly too enthused with the idea of my nuclear power trucks making that kind of turn. Thank you. That I will call a more rational road rather than what a near, verti near vertical thing. Like, I know what we'll do. We'll have our trucks carrying nuclear power. We'll have them do this. Why? Oh, because it would look quite good. No. Let's not throw vertical surfaces at nuclear power trucks. So this is now the mole circle. Slightly curious shaped arrangement. I wonder if I can tweak these two together there and there. Do I have enough space? No, I don't. Can't go completely across. It's kind of interesting. Could, however, there is nothing stopping me grabbing that road. Going up. Come on, not 15. 12. Start in the middle. And come out. Just a little bit. And then do the same the other side. And then see if we can't get some kind of connection. Plug these ones in together. Yes, I don't think I need to make that road there as large as it is. Changes up man. I'm changing my mind here again, running out of time at the end of the episode. I'm changing my mind. As is my want. Can I not change space already? Take that. Alright, well, let's grab that, let's grab that. Um delete, delete. Do I have space for the I Nice. Messy. Just what you want from a commercial district. It's going to be absolutely full of people. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Animalia. This has been City Skylines. Please remember to like and subscribe.